Hello Capricorn, welcome to your July weekly reading. This is going to be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 11th through July 18th, 2020 in the areas of love and romance and relationships. Please do know that this will be a general reading, so not all the informations or energies are going to resonate with everybody out there. Please take what does, leave what does not. Check your Moon, Rising, Venus signs for additional messages. And as always, please do not make any life-altering decisions based off of the general reading because not all the informations or energies would be available to you. So if you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation, please do get a private reading. And for me, you can find that information in the detail box down below along with all my other social media networking and connecting information. I do want to give a quick shout out and thank all of my recent subscribers, all those who have been reaching out with donations and with private readings. I could not do any of this without you. So great love and support and great love being returned to each and every one of you. I appreciate everything that you guys make possible. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I do also want to let you guys know that I have added three new spreads to my private readings. I have the lover bust, which simply answers the question, uh, it's three cards. Is it love or is it bust on sale? Um, actually, not on sale regularly, $5. Um, I'm also offering the big heart spread, which takes a look at the next three months in a relationship um, going forward. It is usually about 30 minutes of video with Oracle Wisdom at the end. Uh, that is on sale uh, regularly for $80 on sale for $40 until the end of this month. And for until August 1st, I'm offering the birthday spread, which is a look at 12 months, usually approximately two hour reading, broken down to 30 minute increments. Um, it takes a look at three months at a time for the entire year. It gives you um, what's coming in, what's going out, energies to look for, kind of situations to be aware of, advice and guidance. You know, as well as Oracle guidance for you as well. That is regularly $250, but on sale for $175. Now, I'm only booking limited spots for that. So if that is something that you're interested in, I do advise for you to book that reading as soon as possible. All right. I promise I am now done, Capricorn. We're going to go ahead and get started into your reading. Past position, you're coming through with the Queen of Cups. The person is coming through with the Knight of Swords. Shared energy between you is the Four of Cups. Okay, so taking a look at this past situation, you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio um, that is directly across from you on, you know, in the astrological chart. But I feel like this is somebody you have a lot of love for. I feel like they are coming over could be air sign, limit, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for some of you. But I feel like this person is acting very impulsively, making impulsive decisions. Um, Maybe even acting recklessly, to be honest with you, is what I'm getting from that card. And the shared energy between, energy between you is a kind of a, a timeout. I'm getting the timeout. Timeout chair, timeout energy happening right here between the two of you and here in the past. Um, there's a you know, serious feelings of discontentment, unhappiness, boredom. Um, not so much boredom. I'm feeling very much discontented, unhappy by the way things are happening. Waiting for something to change is what I'm absolutely picking up this card. All right. Current energy is the Eight of Cups for you. Ace of Pentacles for your person. The Three of Swords is a shared energy between you. Yes. Uh, Capricorn, I feel like you, you have, were here in this, kind of, in this energy of not being satisfied, not happy with the current situation. I feel like you're energetically trying to walk away from the situation and your person's like coming in and like whoa, 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 here i'm offering you this new opportunity and this is breaking their heart that you're walking away from them uh for some of you and this is breaking your heart to have to do it or they broke your heart so that's why you're walking away or, or contemplating walking away i said I feel like energetically you're trying to walk away but let's get clarifications on this okay future energy you got the high priestess cancer piscerian energy they have the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> energy between you is the Queen of Swords. Overall energy of this reading, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and the Magician. Nine of Swords, bottom of the deck, coulda, woulda, shouldas. Anxiety, sleepless nights, worry, depression. I don't really feel like this is you. I mean, I feel like this is you a little bit. I feel like up here this is you. I feel like as this progresses, this is not you. 
All right, so I'm gonna be honest with my um, Capricorns here before I even get my clarifications. I do feel like this is a situation where you're letting go and you're trying to move on, even if it's energetically now, um, mentally and energetically, I feel like you're trying to move past this situation, trying to move on from it. And I feel like this is a person that's kind of holding on, not wanting to let go. All right, so let's see. Spirit team, can we please clarify the cards on the table for my Capricorn family? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please, starting with this Queen of Cups and the past position for my Capricorn. What is going on with this Queen of Cups? Please clarify. Show me precisely, correctly, and accurately what is happening with this Queen of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, the Sun, the Six of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Yep. I feel like this was something you were... I, I feel like you had a lot of feelings for this person. I feel like you they made you happy. Could have been connecting with a Leo, by the way. With a son. But not necessarily. I feel like you wanted to be happy. I feel like at one point in time, you were very happy by this person. I feel like you feel a very strong connection to them. You have a lot of love for them. Um... But I feel like this, you were, I feel like you were trying to really stay positive, be that centering, sensitive, loving, nurturing energy the Queen of Cups is with this person. But I feel like you're kind of being disappointed. I feel like things were not progressing and moving quite the way you expected them to. Like, it just feels like this, I, I, I feel like there was no movement on this wheel. Things were just not happening. All right. What is this King of Knight of Swords, excuse me, energy, the person that Capricorn is dealing with here with the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, please pass energy to the person that Capricorn has been connecting to. King of Pentacles, yeah. Justice, Libra energy there. The Emperor, Ooh, okay. The Empress, wow, yes. This is a divine masculine feminine energy reading right here um now to differentiate between the difference the divine masculine is the action taker the builder it brings things into tangible um reality right they're the go-getters they're the the builders they're the make it they take its action makes it happen the empress is somebody who kind of sits back allows things to flow naturally comes to them cultivates and, and uh, cultivates you know these new beginnings but they they it's more gentle it's more free flowing this is not the action taker i feel like you know this is i feel like you now we all have divine masculine energy within it so however that resonates with you whether you're the action taker or the one that allows things to free free flow to you i feel like this side here is this divine feminine the empress over here is a divine masculine um could be a a libra but I feel like this person was acting impulsively. There was no stability here. Things were way out of whack and out of balance with this divine masculine. Which is why over here, like, they're, they wanted to take a leap of faith. They're, they wanted to go in this new direction. I feel like they were going many new directions. Um, would not be surprising if someone commented back here, yes, this person was going through, like, a mental illness, bipolar disorder is what's coming to mind right now. Because this person just feels like they were going in many different directions at one time being very reckless and impulsive kind of not able to temper this down at all which left this this divine that feminine very confused because they thought they were going to where they were progressing towards this happily ever after when suddenly everything just changed is what i'm getting just suddenly up and changed again this is past energy so this was not something important this is not the part of the story that you guys would not know all right for others of you that's not dealing with somebody who is dealing with a mental illness here so somebody who was acting impulsively, recklessly, unbalanced, unstable, and could have been going through some legal, legal issues. Could be a Libra, could be an Aries, could be a Gemini or an Aquarius, could be many, any of the signs, really. Yeah. Oh, there's this Page of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, this could be a family situation. The Eight of Wands. Seven the five of the five of swords. I I feel like this is so much like the seven of swords, honestly. So um, what I'm getting here is, yeah, there was this feeling of discontentment, unsatis you know, unsatisfaction, um, confusion. I feel like this offer comes in, 
um, between the two of you and you don't know whether or not to accept it. You're kind of hesitant. You don't feel like it's it's on board. I, I feel like this person's going through this energy here. I feel like this person's is this energy and this is your energy. I feel like this person's kind of the type that will do anything, say anything to get ahead, to win, to win you, to keep you, but it's not honest. It's not authentic. And I feel like kind of that's where you're at. Again, this could be a family situation or this is somebody that you thought would be your, you know, happily ever after here. There was need of the, this was all happening very quickly. There was a need to communicate, but this person came in with this love offer, right? I feel like it was, again, you know, here's this page of pentacles. This it seems to be a theme with my earth signs right now. I do feel like this person was piecemealing you. And what I, when I, and yes, this means breadcrumbing. But piecemeal for me is this. It's kind of like a small little freaking token to keep the peace. It's not actual. It's not solid. It's not steady. And this is why I feel like you kind of sat back there saying, mm -mm, I'm, I will walk away. If this is not truthful, I'm going to walk away. And this is where you're at, the Eight of Cups. So let's take a look here. What is this Eight of Cups energy for my Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? And I, I, I'm getting the sense with this person for some of you that this will not resonate with all of you. This, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting an email. I'm getting a text message, um, kind of message in my mind right now. So this person didn't even communicate this offer to you in person. <laughs> it was literally like mail. That's where the piece mail comes into this. It was like, uh, <laughs> it could have been a letter jotted and left for you on a coffee table. It could have been something sent to you by text, by messenger, Facebook. Uh, Twitter, Snapchat, just social media somewhere along those lines or te actual text message. But this person, um, <laughs> they didn't have and tell you themselves. Yeah. Oh, Capricorn, my heart is breaking for you guys. Uh, I do. I feel like you're energetically trying to walk away from this connection. You know that this isn't balanced and equal. You know you've been giving more to it. Um, you know. I mean, look at this. You want to be happy. You, I feel like you're trying to focus on yourself at this time. You're trying to energetically withdraw from this connection. Could be a cancer you're dealing with. And there you are. You're trying to move forward. You're trying to move on. You're wanting to get to this nine of cups. That's self-fulfillment, self-prophecy, self, you know, happiness here. Honestly. Filling your own cups with love, joy, bliss, and support. Having friends and family. Uh, uh, and not even just that, having a soul tribe to really support you that is 100% in your corner in times of triumph and, and victory and celebration when you're succeeding and winning and to be there when you're kind of needing support and uplifting when you're going through, you know, heartbreak and pain and suffering here, going through the tribulations and the trials here. Um, I really do feel like you're trying to withdraw and move forward towards your own stability. Yeah, you know, I feel like you're struggling to do this because I do feel like it's kind of being that battle between fear and hope that this somehow can magically work out. Okay, so let's see. They have the Ace of Pentacles here. So let's see why that's here for them currently. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for the person that Capricorn is connecting with in the current energy position? Two of Pentacles. They're wanting a new opportunity for a partnership with you. They're, they're, they're going to claim they're ready to put in the work. They're really trying to come up with a plan. Yeah, they're wanting, a, 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 I feel like they're wanting some good luck with you. But again, look, impulsively communicate and communicating, impulsive action, communicating. Yeah, they're, they know you're withdrawing. They know that you're taking the cut, you're taking the sword. They know that you're trying to heal and they're being strong and they're going to come at you very quickly with this opportunity, with this offer. What is this three of swords? Shared energy between the two. There's conflict. There's the three of swords. Yeah. The knight of cups. Queen of swords. Capricorn, again, I feel like they know that you're energetically withdrawing from them. They know that you're wanting to move on, that they're, you're starting to move on. And I feel like they're going, they're, this is breaking their heart. This is breaking your heart to do it, but it's also breaking their heart that you are walking out on them. I don't feel like they thought you were going to be going anywhere. I do see you being brave and courageous and strong here, um, but I do see them kind of flashing in, like riding in like a freaking crazed maniac for some of you, making this offer, making this big grand gesture, 
this romantic this romantic gesture, right? And I feel like it's going to cause conflict between the two of you. Because I feel like this is where you're at. You're in the Queen of Swords energy. You're not going to tolerate any more bull. You know what you want. You know what you're worthy of. You've taken time out to try to heal or you're trying to heal from the situation. Again, being brave and courageous. You want a solid, something that's going to be solid and steady. That's going to be worth investing in. That's going to grow. That you can count on. And I feel like that's why when this offer comes in, you're going to be like, mm, yeah, I don't think so. And I feel like for some of you, it could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. But I feel like for some of you, you're just you're going to let this end. But this is High Priestess Future Energy coming in for, there's the King of Wands, the Fool, the Star. Yep, the Six of Swords, bottom of the deck. I feel like something's going to be exposed here by this person. You're finally, that, that veil that's been there, that's been keeping things hidden, that's keeping you confused, keeps you wondering. It's going to be lifted. You're going to see the things as they really are. I feel like you're going to embody the King of Wands energy. You're going to be brave and courageous. You're going to break out of the chains uh, that bind you. You're going to go in a whole new direction, do things in your own way. You're going to take a leap of faith. And it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be bold and it's going to be something completely unexpected. Because here you are. This is the, this area here could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but I'm totally actually feeling the energy of the star and the senses. You're going into deep balance and healing within yourself. And because you're doing this work, because you're standing up for yourself, the universe is granting you this new opportunity to break free. And I do. Look, information comes out and you move on. You move forward towards something that's new. There it is being offered to you by the divine, by the universe is saying here, here is something. Here's your reward. Here's a new beginning. It's going to be filled with passion and, and hope. And ultimate, <laughs> I can't even say that word today. Oct oh, happiness. Happiness. I'm not even going to try. Victorious. Because you manifested good things to celebrate. Good news, good people. Optimism. <laughs> I cannot still. I don't know if you guys are having trouble with actually communication here with this person. Optimism. There we go. There it is. Woo. This is my last reading for the day, so I am a bit tongue-tied, so I apologize for that. Yeah, there's that King of Cups. They're holding on to you. They don't want to let it go. Could be a cow. Could the series? Yes. Look. Mm. Oh, Capricorn. I've got Scorpio. I've got Sagittarius here. I've got their holding on. They don't want to let this end. They want to temper this. They want they want to heal this. They have a lot of love for you. They don't know how to communicate it. They feel they're like they're going to try. Look at this page of wands. They know that you're stepping out on a new path. And that you found all their secrets out. And that you got something new, brew, new brewing for you. And it's bringing that tower in for them. Because now they're realizing... What they had and lost. What is this Queen of Swords energy? Shared energy between the two of you. We're getting the Four of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Tower. Yep. There's that tower. They realized what was possible, what they could have had. Now they're not happy. They are still trying to make an offer to you. But this is kind of like... You, you see this is Ten of Wands. This was a burden. You laid it down. <laughs> You got beautiful things happen for you. The tower is shaking things up. I feel like th this ten of cups is a double-edged sword. I feel for them, they're realizing this is what they could have had. This is what they have now. You, this is what you're moving towards. This is what they have because this is what they could have had. But this is what you're moving towards. Yeah. Taking quick action, passionate action, because you've got the knowledge and the wisdom to move forward. You're solid, you're abundant, you're good on your own, you know it, you're moving forward. And they are the wounded warrior trying to hang on to this, even though you are moving forward. All right, Capricorn, that is your weekly reading. It has been a crazy reading, but one that I've enjoyed very much bringing to you. If this resonates with you, uh, please let me know in the comments down below.
I read all comments. I don't always get to comment back, but I definitely love getting the feedback and knowing when this is resonated. It helps me know how those readings are going um, on with the general population out there, how it's resonating. If you have not yet done so, please consider hitting that like button to help this video circulate to everyone and not get lost in the shuffle. And last but not least, if you have not yet subscribed, please do consider it because the best way for your energies to show up here is to be a subscriber because that is how I set my intentions. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Stay safe. Bye for now.